the Queen has made a special effort to welcome Meghan Markle into the royal family according to one royal commentator. Here's the special gesture the Queen is reported to have made for Meghan but not for Kate, Duchess of Cambridge. Meghan Markle and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge both married British princes and have become beloved members of the royal family. Meghan is the newer of the two duchesses to join the Windsor clan and as such, the Queen is said to have made a special effort to welcome her. A royal expert has revealed the one thing the monarch did for Meghan but not for Kate. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are expected to join the Queen at Balmoral any day now. The monarch is said to be eagerly awaiting their arrival and reportedly wants Meghan to feel right at home. They will take their three-month son on the trip to Scotland to spend time with his great-grandmother who loves hosting family in Aberdeenshire every year. Soon after Meghan and Harry's royal wedding last year, the Queen extended a very special invitation to welcome the Duchess. The Queen invited Meghan on a joint engagement to open the new Mirza Gateway Bridge in Cheshire last June, an exceptional welcome gesture according to royal commentator Duncan Larkum. According to Mr. Larkum, Meghan and Her Majesty have a particularly close relationship. Mr. Larkum told Fabulous Magazine, Meghan seems to have forged a particularly close relationship with the Queen if you compare that to when other people have married into the royal family. He added, the Queen, last year in the first few months of Meghan's entry into the royal family, made a particular and slightly unusual effort to welcome her in. Unusual in the context of the trip on the royal train to do a royal engagement. I'm 99% sure she's never afforded that offer to Kate. While Kate may not have had the same huge welcome gesture as Meghan she has more recently received a very special honor from the Queen. In the same week, Kate and Prince William celebrated their eighth wedding anniversary Kate received an extraordinary honor from Her Majesty. Queen Elizabeth II herself made Kate a Dame Grand Cross of the Royal Victorian Order. Unlike other titles, this award is made solely at the Queen's discretion and not at the recommendation of Downing Street. Kate is understood to have received the award personally from the Queen as thanks for her services to the Sovereign. The award reveals the Queen's high opinion of Kate and her growing royal role. Meghan Markle is expected to visit the Queen at Balmoral this summer. The monarch is said to be excited about the Duchess visit but has the Queen really made an extra effort to like her new granddaughter-in-law? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry reportedly took their first family holiday away with baby Archie Harrison this summer. The Sussex clan are said to have jetted away to Ibiza with their son to celebrate Meghan's 38th birthday. They are expected to visit the Queen at Balmoral but has the monarch made a special effort to welcome Meghan? Meghan and Harry faced some backlash for their reported Ibiza holiday which came after Prince Harry gave a talk about climate change at a Google summit in Sicily. They are expected to make another trip closer to home this summer when they take Archie Harrison to visit the Queen at Balmoral. The Queen spends a couple of months at the Scottish Castle every summer and is said to be excited to host them. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams told Express.co.uk, it would seem likely that Harry and Meghan will take Archie to Balmoral this year to be with the Queen, especially as this will be a special time for them with Archie born so recently. The Queen is able to relax there as the politicians too take a break. The country seems to be heading into political chaos which might involve the Queen and she, ever conscious of attending to her red boxes, will enjoy a well-deserved holiday as the Brexit storm clouds gather and October 31st looms ever nearer. Mr. Fitzwilliams continued, according to Mr. Fitzwilliams Diana had a love-slash-hate relationship with the Scottish castle. Mr. Fitzwilliams said, we won't be told any details but would be interesting to know how Meghan, a city dweller, fares at Balmoral. Diana initially appeared to enjoy it there but subsequently hated it. He continued, Meghan has faced considerable criticism in recent months with her recent guest editorship of British Vogue having a generally hostile reception. The Queen is obviously fond of her and if reports of their visit are correct, will be looking forward to it enormously. Meghan's Special Relationship with Queen While Princess Diana had a love-slash-hate relationship with Balmoral, the Queen has gone to special efforts to make Meghan feel included in royal family life, according to another royal expert. Royal commentator Duncan Larkum told Fabulous Magazine, 
Meghan seems to have forged a particularly close relationship with the Queen if you compare that to when other people have married into the royal family. The Queen invited Meghan on a joint engagement to open the new Mirza Gateway Bridge in Cheshire last June, a welcoming gesture according to Mr. Larkum. He continued, the Queen, last year in the first few months of Meghan's entry into the royal family, made a particular and slightly unusual effort to welcome her in. Unusual in the context of the trip on the royal train to do a royal engagement. I'm 99% sure she's never afforded that offer to Kate.